This is video number three for chapter six. We are looking at sorting on page 368. There's a little explanation at the bottom of page 368, and then the instructions begin on page 369. It says, if necessary, if necessary display the home tab. And we are already there. Uh, tap or click cell A9. And then let's go to our sort and filter button. And let's do an A to Z sort. And it should sort the data and put it in alphabetical order for us. And you can pick any column you want to and sort on the column. And now we're going to sort in descending order. And we're going to go to page 370, item number one, tap or click cell C9. So let's go to C9 here and display the data tab. And we want sort largest to smallest, which is this button right here. And that's another way to sort it. Um, and yet another way to sort is click on the down arrow right here. And this is probably the easiest way. Um, and just say smallest to largest, or let's go back the way we're supposed to do it and do largest to smallest. And now our worksheet should match figure 633 on the top of page 370. And now we're on page 371, and we want to go to the Home tab again. And with the cell in the table active, it doesn't matter where we are, tap or click the Sort and Filter button over here. And we want to do a custom sort. Custom sort lets us sort on more than one column. And uh, we want the sort by. And we want to choose um, category first. And we want to sort from A to Z. And now on the top of page 372, we want to add another level. Actually, I'm just going to click on OK here and show you what we get. And OK, i got to get rid of that then. OK, now click on OK. And um, we're sorting by category. Uh, but we've got a bunch of categories that have the same value here. We got three commercial, we got five residential, we got five vacation. And I may want them sorted within each category. And that's what that second uh, sort field was for. So uh, if we go back here to our sort and filter and do a custom sort and add a level, uh, the second level is going to be uh, commission rate. And I want to click on smallest to largest, which is what I've already got over here. And uh, we're going to do yet another one, add another level. And uh, if the category and commission rates are both equal, then we're going to click on year to date commission. And we're going to sort that from largest to smallest. And then we're going to click on OK. And now if you look at the data on the top of page 639, your worksheet should look like that. So just kind of going down the names here. Uh, it should be Wes Fernandez Perlis, Lockstep Kerry Roberts, uh, Charlatan Rothschild, Munn, and Davis Lee Reeves and Getz. Okay, now we're on uh, the auto filter section and the instructions begin on page 374. And uh, we want to go to the filter button on the higher date column. This is the filter button here. It'll also let you do sorting. And um, we want to do oldest to newest to sort the data. And it says do some experimenting. We'll skip that part uh, to query a table using auto filter. Uh, let's go to cell B8 which is right here, and we want to click on the button. And um, 
we want to select vacation here to remove the check mark and um, if we click on OK uh, all of the ones that had the value vacation in there are hidden and all of these totals down here at the bottom are updated to reflect just the items that are visible. Notice when you do that that we get blue numbers over here also a little funnel appears here to tell you that we're uh, filtering based on this column uh, just like when we sort it over here a little arrow appears indicating that it's sorted either in increasing or decreasing order uh, and the blue numbers over here uh, tell you that you're not seeing everything uh, and actually it shows you some little gaps uh, there's a little uh, skinny white stripe here between 8 and the 10 and then between the 11 and the 14 and again between 18 and the 21 uh, so those are some visual clues just to let you know that you're not seeing everything um, okay so that takes us to the top of page 376 and I want to go to um, Top of page 276. Okay, we want to uh, tap or click the standing arrow in cell J8. So click on that. And I want to remove bronze and silver. So turn off bronze, turn off silver. Only gold is visible. And now what we have is what you see at the bottom of page 376. Um, top of page 377 now. Uh, it says go to the data tab, which is another way to do this stuff and tap or click the clear button and that will remove any filtering that happens to be applied and now we're going to go to the top of page 378 and we want to click the filter button in the agent column right here and I want to do a search for Darnell and hit enter or click on OK and it will show me agent uh, Darnell Davis uh, which is row 20 and your spreadsheet should match uh, figure 648 on page 378 uh, and then it says tap or click the clear button to display all the records in the table so just go up here and clear uh, another way to do that um, you know let's say that I've got uh, back where I was before uh, another way to do it is click on your filter button here and just choose clear filter from agent. Okay, now we're on the top of page 379. Uh, I want to go to cell C8 and display the filter menu for the experience column. And I want to click custom filter. First click on number filters and then choose custom filter down here at the bottom. And this is our custom auto filter box. And I want uh, experience uh, is greater than or equal to. And then type in a 3. And then I want both of these conditions to be true. So we want and selected in here. And uh, less than or equal to. And i got to scroll for that one and I want the number 7 as the other value and then click on OK. So anything from 3 to 7 in this column should be visible now and again all of the totals here at the bottom get updated uh, to reflect just the five records that are now visible and uh, your worksheet should match what you see at the bottom of page 379 in figure 6-51 and then we want to clear and now we're back to looking at all of the records in the table. Uh, now we're on page 380 to turn off auto filter. It says display the data tab, which is already displayed on my worksheet. Uh, tap or click the filter button. And it turns off the filter buttons for the table. And if I want to see them again, I just turn it back on again. Okay, now we're at the top of page 381. And we're going to create a criteria range. And there are some things that you can't um, you can't do with the simple auto filter that we've just done. Um, and for that, uh, you need to use an advanced filter, and that's what we're going to talk about on page 381. 
uh, first thing you have to do is you have to create a criteria range somewhere else other than where the table is and what you want to do with that is you want to select uh, the column headings uh, they have a select uh, row 7 here although that's not really necessary but we'll do it so we're going to select everything in row 7 and row 8 and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that all to the clipboard and then I want to go up here to A1 and I want to right click and do a paste and okay I got white text let's try a different version of paste here let's go to our file tab and whoops not file tab home tab and paste and um, I want to keep the formatting keep the source formatting let's try that and that still didn't work okay uh, well I'm going to uh, go down here and click on this and I'm gonna click on my format painter and I'm gonna just drag it across this stuff and now it looks the way that I want it to look okay it says change the title to criteria range so just go to A1 and type on top of that okay now we're on number six on the bottom of page 381 select the range from A2 to J3 so A2 to J3 and in the name box up here type in criteria so we're just given a name to that uh, that group of cells so we can refer to it in a formula later on and inside the criteria sorry enter the criteria vacation in cell B3 so uh, type the word vacation there and um, type greater than 3 in cell C3 and type greater than or equal to silver in cell J3 and then we want to click in the table to make it active again and we want to go to the data tab and we want to do an advanced filter and it wants to know where our list range is and if you start off in the table like we did it'll automatically select the table you see the dancing line around my table here and then the criteria range here uh, since we gave it a name we can just type that in and then um, click on OK and it will show us all of the um, agents who have uh, are in the vacation category have uh, greater than three years experience and they have a standing that's greater than or equal to silver okay so we get one record when we do that something that uh, puzzles me a little bit here is why they picked greater than or equal to silver um, because what this does is it does an alphabetical comparison so um, it, it happens that bronze and gold both come before the letter S alphabetically, so they're considered less than silver. Uh, but it doesn't make much sense here uh, for me to, uh, as to why they put greater than or equal to silver here. I think they should just put equal to silver. Um, but that's not what they did. So uh, we'll just keep on going. Let's go to page 383 here. And it says to show all the records in a table. Uh, click the clear button up here and so now we're back where we were before um, and uh, this criteria here will not be applied until we go do another advanced filter again and the next thing we're going to do here is going to create an extract range which will let us pull the records out uh, into another range and so we want to select the range A7 to J8 again which is again uh, the title and the column headings and I want to do a control C here to copy it and we're going to go down to row A25 here and we're going to do a control V and paste it in and again I've got the problem here with the white on white so let's go to our home tab and do our format painter and just drag it over all of this stuff right here and um, let's also do the wrap text on that 
and now we're good. Um, and I want to change the title to Extract Area. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this table up here. We're going to apply this criteria to select some of the rules or the rows. And then we're going to have the rows that get selected copied down here. They'll remain up here, but we'll get a copy of them down here. So um, now we are on the top of page 384. And I want to tap or click the table to make it active. So let's go up and just click on the table someplace. And and I skipped a step here. So let's go back to um, now. Here's another thing I don't really understand. They want to change the title of this. Um, to, um, let me see, select A26 to J27. So A26 to J27 is this. It's got room for one record here. And they want us to go up to the name box up here and call this the extract region. Okay, so you type extract in there. Now, uh, that means our extract region is just these two rows right here. And now uh, we're going to tell it that that's where we want our filtered records to be copied to. So put the cursor back in the table someplace and go to the advanced, uh, go to the data tab and do an advanced filter. And uh, the list range is going to be my table. The criteria range we called criteria. So I'm going to use the name instead of, if I can spell it right. And then under copy, we want uh, under copy to here, we need to turn on the copy to another location box. And this is going to be extract. And click on OK. And it will put. Uh, Darnell Davis down there in our extract area. And that brings us to the end of the sorting and filtering uh, part of the chapter and uh, we'll stop the video here and we'll continue with database functions in the fourth video.